So, this is core memory here. And core memory, of course, are these little donuts. And you have three wires that go through them. One X wire, one Y wire, and one sense wire. And so, if you put a, a signal through the X wire and the Y wire that goes through the one donut, then it creates enough of a magnetic field to flip the donut. When that happens, the sense wire has a pulse that's put on it. And so you see that it is flipped from a zero to a one. And you know that it was a zero, now it's a one. The problem is, it's a one. And what you want to do is reset it back to zero because otherwise you've done, you've done a destructive read. So that's one of the reasons why core memory was so slow. Number one, it took time for the core to flip from a zero to a one. And then if it did flip, you had to flip it back. That took some time also. But core memory was non-volatile. You could turn off the power and it still maintained. And of course, it was a lot smaller than vacuum tubes being used to store the same memory. This was, core memory was invented by a person by the name of Wang. He went on to form Wang Laboratories, which was a company that made word processors. And uh, he worked for IBM at the time when he invented the core memory. And IBM said, oh, you know, this memory actually, this invention actually belongs to us. But Mr. Wang had never signed the agreement from IBM. So, you know, they didn't have the rights to the memory which he had invented. That was another big mistake that IBM made.